Yes, my name is Achim Wiedenthal. I'm coordinating uh, the project SmokeBot. Uh, SmokeBot stands for Mobile Robots with Novel Environmental Sensors for Inspection of Disaster Sites with Low Visibility. And this title has all the ingredients of the project in it. So it's of mobile robots um, that are supporting civil services, especially fire brigades. Um, we will develop novel sensors in this project. So we will develop a radar camera that can actually see through smoke. We will develop gas sensors that um, are very fast, faster than all the gas sensors that we had so far. You could say in a sense it's the first time that we develop gas sensors for robots and that we don't just use gas sensors that have been developed for um, laboratory applications. And we also have these robots then specifically developed for inspection of disaster sites. So it's especially in response to emergency situations where, for example, fire brigades are called, that we want to develop a prototype robot that is useful for the fire brigades. And for that, we collaborate with an advisory board of different fire brigades that, that bring in uh, the requirements for us. Um, and so in the center of it is an a very concrete application but the impact of the project is far larger because we will develop the techniques for handling low visibility um, conditions as they occur if there is smoke, but also if there is dust, maybe heavy rain. And we will do that from a hardware side, developing new sensors, but also from a software side, developing the approaches, how to uh, combine the input from different sensors, the new ones and the existing ones, so as to provide robots with the ability to handle these situations. Great, okay. And do you think you'll come up against any challenges during the project? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, so we, um, as all the other projects, we identified of course where there are certain risks and we try to minimize them. Uh, so for example, it's, it's a very challenging um, idea to develop um, this radar camera that can actually see through the smoke and gives 3D information um, from this um, that actually is not very much disturbed by smoke. Um, this the three and a half years project times are relatively uh, project time is relatively short um, for this development. So we have intermediate stages where we start with a sensor that actually just scans the environment and can already be used uh, for um, you know like simulating what we will have at the end as as data. So it already looks through smoke, but it needs a longer time for, uh, for taking a picture. And so we can already at an early um, time in the project, we can start developing the related approaches and we don't have to wait for the, for the final sensor camera that will actually only be available at the end of the project. Risks, but uh, we try to uh, mitigate them as much as possible in our work. And what do you, in what would be the best um, outcome? Do you think um, after three year, after the three years are up? Yeah, um, the best outcome again that would be in different directions. So the first one, the most visible one, would be that we develop um, and integrate all our approaches into the what we call the low visibility explorer platform that actually can be of real use for fire brigades. So if this platform after the project already can be useful for fire brigades, that would be a fantastic outcome. But it would only be one. Another one uh, would be, of course, that the, um, the sensor, the sensor unit that we want to um, develop, a sensor unit that can be useful in low visibility conditions, that this will be used by other scientific projects and by other applications. That our approaches to deal with low visibility conditions are also being used, that's the hope and, and what I believe, are also uh, being used outside of the pure fire brigade domain. So in agriculture, where there's a lot of dust, for example, there these solutions could also be useful. And um, maybe not everything will happen exactly directly after the project, um, but it would be great if, if just some of it 
um, would actually um, transfer to, for example, new projects, new application domains, uh, then we would be certainly very happy. 